Good morning, everyone. This is your good old neighbor, Nick Hicks, and Frozen 2, and Nope, Time to Die, and Avatar fans, as I was one year. Can you not believe it's been four years that Miles Maul 10 feeders and Miles Maul of Anderson and the Miles Maul in general um, um, in my area had been shut down uh, due to the bankruptcy? Anyway, guys, so today I'm doing a video called My Memory of Miles Maul. Honestly, one of the best mall I ever experienced in my life. But honestly, guys, and honestly, honestly, guys, and honestly, uh, it was literally as my favorite mall. But honestly, guys, I think the Indianapolis Country Square Mall is way better than um than most malls these days because Indianapolis Mall have everything. Like right? the Disney Store, well, honestly, they shut down Disney Store, so I'll miss that. Anyway, and they have the Lego store. Uh, I mean, a Lego store, shoe store, and most importantly, I. A gummy store, and most importantly, a toy store. Anyway, anyway, guys, enough further to do. Let's get this video started, shall we? And sorry, guys, my memory of Miles Mall. Hmm, what the one thing I do remember? Anyway, guys, my very first movie I saw in this mall it has to be Cars Two, which is the um, which is honestly one of my favorite movie out of the Cars movie. And honestly, guys, I used to really love that movie, and back then I used to really hate that movie. But now I finally realized that that movie is a goofy pleasure movie. And it, um, I mean, honestly, guys, and honestly, uh, even this movie has some flaws. But overall, guys, I do enjoy Cars Two. It's a really underrated movie. And so yeah, guys, and honestly, guys, if you want me to use my ranking. For every single movie I saw in this mall, honestly, guys, just check out my letterbox and it will be speak to yourself. Anyway, anyway, guys, and honestly, um, I do remember how some delicious Chinese because those Chinese at Mouse Mall is honestly one of the best Chinese ever. Why come on, um, why come on? We can't forget the awesome pizza. We can't forget some like a uh, chicken karaoke and some noodles, which is really delicious, by the way, and it was really yummy. And honestly, guys, I'm not a huge fan of egg roll. Yeah, honestly, guys, don't hate on me, but I'm not a huge fan of egg roll, in my opinion. So, yeah. And sorry, guys, and honestly, guys, one of the best years I ever, um, I ever experienced in Miles Mall, it has to be, um, it has to be 2012. 2012 is a fantastic year for Miles Mall, because honestly, guys, I do remember go in, um, go into the mall when I see a poster, which is another than Wreck-It Ralph, um, of the Dark Knight Rises, the War Axe, and all that. And honestly, guys, the only movie I saw in this mall, it has to be Dr. Seuss, the War Axe, and Wreck-It Ralph, and no people I have not seen a rise of the guardians in theaters sadly because apparently it stopped showing it's something like that anyway and anyway guys and i do remember seeing santa claus and easter bunny in this mall it was really the nostalgia in my opinion but overall guys i honestly guys i do miss this mall so what's up this mall will get reopened and it will be it will be a dream come true but overall I do really miss this mall, and I'm very sorry this video wasn't short because there's nothing to say about it. And honestly, guys, and before I get this video end, and honestly, guys, I want to tell you every single ranking of the movie I saw in this mall. So let me get my ranking started. And honestly, guys, if mall, um, if mall, you really want to experience, uh, take, um, um, honestly, guys, and honestly, uh, tell me what's your memories of that. So yeah, <clears throat> so let me find it real quick. Oh, and honestly, guys, and by the way, um, I do remember seeing a the Smurf, uh, staining, and I you um, and I you um, and I work at the Transformers, the uh, Transformers are dark, um, dark of the moon, which that movie was really underrated, and the Smurf movie, yeah, yeah, honestly, guys, that movie go across himself. Anyway, honestly, guys, let's go to my linking. Where is this at? I hope I didn't delete it. <clears throat> anyway, trying to find it, man. Trying to find it. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Can't find it. Alright. I need it. Alright. Where's it at? I'm trying to find it. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, guys, and why I'm doing it, uh, stay, tuned for, uh, stay tuned for my movie review of Crease 3 because I'm going to watch Crease 3 tonight in my movie field room. So I cannot wait to watch that movie. So it will be a masterpiece. It will be way better than Crease uh, V-I. <clears throat> you know what that stands for? I don't want to talk about it. Anyway. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I, honestly. Uh, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right, let me go to the down there, the beginning. All right. The movie I saw in Miles Mall is Cars 2, Rio, which honestly, guy, I watched that movie for free, and it was really amazing. 
like watching free movie in the summer. I do miss doing that, and I do remember watching free movies in the theaters. Anyway, let's get back to what I'm doing. Uh, Dawson's Seuss the War Act, which that movie I used to love, but now I really hate that movie. <clears throat> we don't want to talk about it anymore. Wreck it well, honestly, guys, I prefer that movie better than the sequel. And I cannot believe why in the world I saw a sequel in this mall. So let's get back to what I'm doing. Uh, Parental Guidance. Honestly, guys, I'm part of your shocking speechless that why is Parental Guidance in the West? Honestly, guys, I saw that movie pretty way. I saw it, um, I saw it pretty way. I saw it on, on January 2013, which is 10 years ago. Honestly, guys, it's been 10 years that I saw a uh, Parental guy with me and my mom, and that movie was so bad, and, uh, I'm not, um, um, I mean, honestly, guys, that movie was so bad that everyone didn't see that movie, only me and my mom, and, and we were shocking, but anyway, I used to like that, uh, like that movie, but now I just finally realized that that movie is a terrible family comedy movie, and that movie ruined the comedy movie, just like Cinderella. Cinderella ruined the family movie from 2021. Not the, um, honestly, guys, not the 1950, not 2015. I prefer that better than the 2021. So let's hope the whole movie of Cinderella would be a much better than the 2021 Cinderella. Anyway, let's get back to what I'm doing. Now let's get back to 2013. All right, The Cruise, uh, Monsters University, uh, Despicable Me 2, uh, the stupid boring plane movie, which honestly, guys, I really did not like that movie. That movie is so boring as heck. And the overrated Frozen. Honestly, guys, I cannot believe why I saw the first Frozen, then Frozen 2 in Mouse Mall. And don't worry, people, I saw Frozen 2 in AMC Fido, so don't worry. Now let's get back to 2014. Okay, I saw a Lego movie, Rio 2. Uh, Alex Daniel and the Terrible Hobo, No Good Day, Very Bad Day, which that movie is honestly one of the worst movie of 2014. That movie is even worse than The Legend of the Hercules. Big Hero 6, and last not least, Annie. Now let's get back to the 2015. Alright. Honestly, guy, on, uh, honestly, one of the most okay year for movies. The SpongeBob movie, Sponge, uh, sorry. Uh, the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water, Inside Out, Pixel, Hotel Transylvania 2. Uh, The Good Dinosaur, more like the bad movie, because the bad movie. You know I got that from? I got that from Food Boy Quinn Guy. <clears throat> now let's get back to 2016. Kung Fu Panda 3, Zootopia, uh, I mean, Zootopia uh, The Angry Bird movie, which I used to love, but I, I used to like it. And I think it's a funny comedy, but honestly, guys, that movie was so inappropriate for kids. So, yeah. <clears throat> Finny Dory, uh, The Secret Wife of Pet. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Um... <clears throat> So I'm saturating. Um, The Jungle Book 2016, which that movie works way better. I mean, way better than The Little Mermaid 2023. I don't want to talk about that movie until my rant. All right, Ghostbusters 2016, which is the most um, which is the most controversial in the work movie I ever seen in my entire life. Stork, and I cannot believe why in the world I saw the chore. Honestly, guys, I'd rather go back in time and go see Doctor Strange better than seeing the Troll movie. I don't understand why I saw the Troll in theaters. Yeah, I'm probably sure what Troll fan was really happy that I saw I saw that movie in theaters. Yeah, I don't remember every single stuff I saw in the Troll movies. <clears throat> anyway, Moana and last night we seen the same with Troll. I don't understand why I didn't see Assassin's Creed because that movie was really PG-13 and my mom said, uh, my mom said, you know what, uh, you know what, Nick, we'll see a kid's movie. And she take me to see scene, which honestly, guys, I'm not, uh, honestly, guys, I never liked scene movie with the begin with, so, at least that movie looks way better than scene too, but overall, I think scene was so embarrassing. One of the, um, one of the most embarrassing movie of the December of 2016. Now let's get to the 2017. Oh boy, I saw what. I saw a water movie in 2017, and I'm probably you're gonna blow your mind. All right, the Lego Batman movie. Watch that movie. I saw like two times. Uh, the first time I watched it is a um, is a release date, and second um, and the second time I watched the uh, we watched it. It had to be I went to the IMAX museum theaters, and it was really amazing. Like watching the Lego uh, Lego Batman movie on the big screen, on the biggest screen in the event of the year. So that would be amazing. So. Not of the year. I'm talking about 2017, which is a few years ago. The Boss Baby. Honestly, guy, I don't understand why. Um, honestly, guy, I don't understand why I saw The Boss Baby than Costco Island. Costco Island is 100% way better than The Boss Baby. And why in the world The Boss Baby is a is is not a franchise now? I don't understand it. And Captain Underpants. 
on the guys, on the guys, and on the uh, on the guys, and on the uh, even I um even I like Captain Underpants, but on the guys, I rather see Wonder Woman. I rather see Gadgetel on the big screen. But the only Wonder Woman I saw on the big screen is has to be GL. I don't want to talk about it anyway. Cause three, yeah, I don't want to talk about Cause three. Yeah, screw Cause three and the Spickle Me three. Screw the movie. And I don't understand why in the wall I saw the emoji movie. Honestly, guys, I do remember when I went to saw the emoji movie. I actually left my ticket and put them in the garbage can. Honestly, guys, this is how bad the film is. And that was honestly one of the worst animated movie of 2017. That movie made Food Fight and North. I'm sorry, and Norm and North in the 12 movie. I mean, so, 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 sorry. Um, a Food Fight and Norm and North, more like poor crap, uh, to be less terrible than the emoji movie. Yeah, this is everyone's worst movie ever. And the Lego Ninjago movie, which I used to like, but now I think that uh, I think that film was really boring. And Wonder, I love that movie. I cannot believe why they came out the same year of GL. And speak of GL, I saw Joss at Lee and Feelers. That's why right. I saw Joss at Lee. Honestly, guys, let me tell you my memory when I saw Joss at Lee. Honestly, guys, when that movie over, I want a um, I want um. Honestly, guys, a lot of my audience was starting crapping. I was like, seriously? Are you, are you not serious? Do you honestly think Joss Lee is way better, um, is way better than his The Avengers? Uh, no, his The Avengers movie is way better than that piece of monkey poop. Honestly, guys, who and the monkey really like the same movie that, um, that have a chemistry with, uh, um, chemistry with Jason Lamora and God Get Out, which is really disgusting, and have an over-the-top performance by Ben Affleck. Oh, um, by, um, by, um, sorry, um, by Stephen Wolf and Ben Affleck, and they made a joke about Steve, uh, Steve, no, not Steve, I'm talking about Steve from Wonder Woman, they made a joke about it, it was really disrespectful, and the final nail of the coffin, which is now done, the heavy cover Superman mustache, oh, OMG, I do not want to see that in my screen, get that, get that out of here, anyway, <clears throat> Honestly, guys, and I, honestly, guys, my screening of Josh Lee is so terrible, so god awful, and I don't want to go to that same experience ever again. And the last not least, I saw in 2017, which is now in Star Wars The Last Jedi, which is the most underrated Star Wars movie ever. Sorry, guys, I mean, my second most underrated Star Wars movie ever, because the most underrated Star Wars movie I've ever seen is had to be Revenge of the Sith. OMG, I love that movie. One of the most darkest and mysterious Star Wars movies I've ever seen in my entire life. Now let's get to the 2018. Uh, Jumanji, uh, Walk Up to the Jungle. Honestly, guys, I'm probably you guys are wondering, you say, hey, wait a minute, Nick, uh, Jumanji, on. Uh, uh wait uh oh wait a minute, Nick. Oh wait a second. Um wait a second. Uh, Jumanji didn't came out in twenty eighteen, it came out twenty seventeen. Guys, let me tell you something. That movie came out on Christmas, which honestly guys I was spending <laughs> I was spending my family time on Christmas, so that's why I saw that movie pretty right. I saw it uh um, honestly, guys, and honestly, I saw that um I saw that movie pretty right just like um just like Puerto guy. I saw it on January with um what caused Dan and my mom and and I do enjoy that movie and now and Karen and that movie as the girl that she's wearing a short jean and her shirts show her belly. Love that. She's honestly one of my favorite characters of the entire movie. And no people, I haven't seen the sequel in Fido, so thank goodness the Lord I watched the sequel on FX. But honestly guys, in that movie it's way better than the walk up to the jungle. And anyway, guys, in the two auction, I saw Venom. Honestly, guys, I was originally going to watch of A Star Wars Born, but that movie is wet at all, and I was too I was too young for that. But now I just saw Venom, because Venom is a really underrated. Honestly, guys, I think Venom 2 is 100 times better. And I don't understand why I saw Wreck Above 2 in Vitos. Yes, I saw Wreck Above 2 in Vitos. I Honestly, guys, that was back then. I used to like that movie. But now, thanks to Troll World Troll Fan, plays that movie like the Better Than God. And honestly, guys, I think that film is a cinematic disaster. So that movie ruined the franchise, and I do not want to see Wreck of 3. If they greenlight Wreck of 3, please hire me. I will make a Disney Plus of the movie. It will be amazing. It will be much better than this piece of crap. And Mary Poppins Return. Honestly, guys, honestly, honestly, guys, and honestly, um, the main reason why I watched that movie is has to be, be um, it has to be, be, be um, it has to be because that I'm a huge fan of Mary Poppins. I used to, uh, honestly, guys, I do remember watching Mary Poppins the original film from the fifties, and I really love that movie. Uh, honestly, guys, even I was born in two thousand one because I'm a two thousand kid, but honestly, guys, I do like nostalgia movies. 
And I can't forget my best movie I saw in 2018, which is none other than Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. On the guy, one of the best animated movies from 2018, one of the second best movie of 2018, and that is only one of the second best comic book movie of 2018, because my favorite movie from 2018 is had to be The Avengers Affinity War. Yup, I saw The Avengers Affinity War at the AMC theaters. And now I saw three movie at the AMC theater from 2019, and that was my last year I, I, I went to Saul from Miles Mall. So let's get the three movie, and I'll probably you guys aren't going to be shocked and speechless that Frozen 2 was not on the list. Well, uh, honestly, guys, I saw Frozen 2 at the AMC, so let's get to the last one. I saw The Secret Wife of Pet 2, which honestly, guys, is the same thing with the first movie. I saw the second movie with me, Mrs. McNutt, and Preston, and I didn't even enjoy that movie at all. So let's skip that, because if you want more detail about it, check out my rant, and check out my ranking on the Elimination film. And Toy Story 4. I'm honestly God, I'm not joking, but I saw Toy Story 4 on the day release. Because honestly God, the movie came out the same year, I mean the same day of Child's Play. And honestly God, I do not want to talk about Child's Play because honestly guys, I mean honestly guy, honestly, um honestly guy, honestly, um sorry I'm saying honestly guy, and honestly, um it's not because I um, um, it's not because I said, Ooh, I hear cool, cool is really disgusting. No, I'm not doing that. It's stupid. But the main reason why it had to be because number one, it didn't feel like I'm watching Child's Play. It felt like I am watching the, I am watching Stranger Things better than uh Child's Play. And second of all, um, on the and check, um, on the and second of all, the Chucky design, uh, voiced by Mark Hamill. On the guy, on the guy, on the uh, even Mark Hamill did a good job with his performance. But that Chucky design, it was absolutely god awful. It looks so disgusting. It's not even funny. Anyway, guys, in the last movie I saw at the AMC feed, I mean, at the Mouse Mall, and I'm really disappointed. And it was my first Reddit all movie I saw in theaters, which is none other than Tom Phillip movie called Joker. <laughs> Put on the happy face. Yeah, people, that was my very first Reddit all movie I saw in theaters, and it was my... And it will, um, and on the guy, and that movie was my, was my last movie I saw at the Mouse Mall 10 video. So honestly God, I was literally gonna watch Frozen 2 for my for my last um for my last Mouse Mall. But honestly God, the movie video of this mall got shut down and now my job at the Mouse at the Fido's Dream Come Show. Yeah honestly guys and I don't know what job I can work at honestly. Honestly God I was literally gonna um, I was literally thinking about what can I talk about for a drive through but honestly guys I don't, honestly, guys, I don't want to smell like taco because, honestly, guys, I mean, honestly, guys, honestly, um, honestly, guys, honestly, um, I do remember seeing, uh, um, seeing people working at McDonald's and you see all chicken nugget, french fries, and all of you, it was really disgusting. But anyway, anyway, so overall, guys, that was my memory of Mouse Mall 10 videos. And if you, if you experience for this mall, tell me what your memory of this. I do miss this mall, and, but now I will... I really want to go in this building. I want to see. I want to see how it changes. This is and honestly, guys, I'm probably honestly, guys, and honestly, I do miss this mall, man. Rest in peace to Mel's Mall Ten Fetos. Rest in peace from 2011 all the way to 2019. In the original mall, rest in peace to Mel's Mall, one of the biggest mall in the van. But honestly. It, uh, um, honestly, guys, it was open in 1965, which is which is a few years ago. I mean, which is a long time ago, and then it got shut down at four years ago. So yeah, and so you guys, and thank goodness to the Lord, I saw Frozen 2 at the AMC Fido because I was originally going to watch Frozen 2 at the Miles One Ten Fido, but thanks to the bankruptcy, they shut it down. So thank goodness to the Lord, I saw Frozen 2 in Fido's. I was originally going to watch Frozen 2 on Black Friday, but due to the ticket all sold out, and I was really I was really disappointed, but honestly, guys, it was in the past. But anyway, anyway, guys, if you like this video, if you want to see more of this type of stuff, please, I recommend you hit the subscribe button, turn the notification, and share the video with your whole family. Now, excuse me, um, now excuse me, I'm gonna draw a super girl because I'm a huge um 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 because honestly, I'm having a crush on the super girl. No, people, I'm not talking about super girl movie. I might do a rant. Honestly, I might do a rant of that film leading up to the Flash movie, and I might do a we do movie review. On Michael Keane Batman. I'm not doing we do movie review on Batman Robin and Batman Forever. So, yeah, I don't want to talk about Batman Robin anymore. Thank you, God. That's what Superman looks so well. Oh, shut up, Robin and Batman. You're so annoying. 
Honestly, guys, no offense, no offense to George Clooney, but George Clooney was a terrible Batman. Hey, freeze! I'm Batman. I thought my joke was bad. Oh, shut up! Uh, oh, shut up, Batman! You're so annoying. With your bad critical, your bad blood has so disgusting. Anyway, guys, subscribe, comment, share the video with your family, and stay tuned for my movie review on Chris Three. And I really hope Chris uh, Chris Three will be my favorite movie out of the Chris movie. And uh, and after that, stay tuned. Uh, stay tuned for my ranking of all the Rocky movie. I saw all the Rocky movie with enough to the Chris. A uh, Chris Three. And I watched Chris, Chris movie, like Chris 1 and Chris 2 for the first time, like last show and this show. So, yeah. And sorry, guys. And sorry, guys. Um, sorry, guys. And that was my video. So, I see you next time. And so long. And peace, YouTube. Rest in peace to Miles Mar 10 videos. 2011 all the way to 2019. And, and for this mall, rest in peace to Miles Mall of Anderson. It was opened in 1965. And thanks to the bankruptcy, the stupid nonsense got shut it down at four years ago, which is now done on April 1st, 2019. Guys, I'm not even joking. Honestly, honestly guys, and honestly, that was the that was the day they shut it down, which that was really embarrassing. Have a good day, everyone, and I see you guys next time. Stay tuned for my movie review on Crease 3.